This meeting is being recorded. There All we right. go. Thomas, thank you for that uh, pointing that out. We're, we are on the record now officially. Sounds good. Um, cool. And then if um, if you don't mind, really quick, let me screen share and I'll jump through the my slides and then we'll we'll hand it over to to you and to Sadie. Okay, cool. I think that's working now. All right. Cool. All right. Um, so I'll give a quick rundown of the, the development. This this is a development activities meeting, which is part of the city's registered communitization program. Um, we uh, basically this was a program launched back in 2019, aiming to in increase collaboration and and information flow between communities and the city, especially related to development projects. Um, so, registered communitization is an organization that has applied for that status by meeting a set set of criteria um, with city with city planning, um, and the role of the RCO. Um, the register communization for short um, is to help channel that feedback from community members in their geographic area, um, the South Side Slopes in this case, um, related to uh, a project. And so it kind of you kind of help co-host these development activities meetings. Um, and then can also, um, if they choose, provide input to boards and commissions about the projects that flow through those. Um, so Southside Slopes Neighborhood Association serves as the the RCO for the South Side Slopes. Um, you can find where you're RCO is looking up uh, the, who, the who's my RCO on PittsburghPA.gov site under city planning. Um, the uh, there's a extensive uh, kind of list. Of, won't go through all this, but there's a to, to how to become an RCO, um, and so it's a different criteria to 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 meet. Um, it also can be it's the registration is free. Applications are accepted throughout the year, and renewal happens every uh, every two years uh, for those that choose to do so. Um, in a development activities meeting like we're having tonight, uh, the developer, or the the project lead, um, in this case, um, the, the prop property owner here speaking for for fifteen fifteen St. Patrick Street, um, will share their their project, what their kind of board and commission they're going to, um, and and then um, and and usually screen share if possible, and then there'll be a, um, a chance for Q and A with the community members here on uh, on the in the evening uh, this evening, and then there's a 30 day public comment period, of at least 30 days when um, the community may write in with further feedback to the RCO um, or directly to the board or commission. Um, in this case, my understanding is it's zoning board of adjustment for kind of a historic use review that could potentially be a use variance if needed. But um, we'll let the let the developer speak to that, let the owner speak to that. Um, but all my role as the community planner for the Southside Slopes neighborhood is to um, take down the, the the feedback and the summary of the 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 meeting um, that then gets sent as a report to the public uh, the public board and commission so that they they have a sense of what, uh, what the community's input was on on the project and that also gets um, posted online on the city uh, planning web page. Um, so there's a number of different criteria that go that require a dam. Um, the the one that's relevant in this case is the possibility that the zoning board of adjustment could ask for the project to go through a use variance. Is my understanding. Um, but I'll let the the owner again confirm that they have to kind of confirm that, um, but that's um, going into this. My understanding for this for the site based on the zoning review, um, and the focus in, in this case would be around the historic use uh, of the site as a duplex. Um, is my my understanding. So, um, zoning board of adjustment for anyone who wants to provide feedback to the border commission relevant to this project, um, uh, you can you can either. Um, email them, you can send a letter, or you can provide testimony by Zoom or in person. Um, so this mm -hmm. this slide shares that info. They meet three times a month. Um, and, uh, and then you can also just, if you want to watch it, you can stream it on YouTube live. So there's these are a few links to some of the other boards and commissions um, and some, some links for where you can find city planning on social media. So with that, I will, um, unless there's any specific questions about this, I'll pass it back to, to Gavin. Thanks, Thomas. I appreciate that. Um, thank, thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Um, Sadie, uh, why don't we jump yes. right back in? I, I think I understand okay. what the issue is, but uh, for those mm -hmm. who may not be familiar, why don't, it might help uh, first to kind of give a little history, your history of the property, where it's located in particular, sure. and what it is you're seeking to do. Sure. So the, the property is right on St. Patrick. Um, as soon as you turn off of 18th Street, it's like right there. So um, I, my ex-husband and I uh, bought the property back in 2006. 
and um, we bought it as a two unit and it was in the um allegas i don't understand he he did all this kind of stuff and i didn't um in the divorce i i paid half of this house he paid half of it i got this house he got the other so long story short um it was always used as a two unit um it was a um sold to us as a multi-unit it's always had two of everything like two um electric meters to uh, gas meters to water tanks it has two kitchens that was something they told us to to like take pitch of so um so it's always been rented as that um so it is again if you know the um and uh monasteries like right up the way if you know the part right when you're turning off 18th down there were three houses that were right there on that part right before you turn um, like the backyard would be uh, the alley going to Quarry Park. Okay. Um, so those three houses were all multi unit or um, two unit properties. The one house, too, if you're looking at the property to the right of us, burnt down. It was like right after we bought it, maybe within a year or after a year. I know it was right around there. Um, so that house has been gone for that long the other property to the left of us if you're looking at the front they also are a two unit um so again it was sold to us as that and we never had to get any work or anything it's always since i've owned it been run it as a two unit always um and and what happened was how i found all this out was in january we had uh can you hear me okay yeah okay um in january we had pipes burst and um so i had them over there um fixing that well um there was an inspector that came by when the people were there fixing it well there was a big they didn't realize i had called um because i got like a stop work order and i called and talked to like a foreman wherever i got a hold of the the um the department for the permits um and i just called until i got something to, like they you know like guided me through who i need to talk to and they're like don't they're like we didn't realize it was you know pipes burst that's a um that's a uh emergency you can keep doing it so they let us keep doing it they've been very great actually the inspectors there i'll tell you what and so they're like don't worry about that you know so he, they were telling me um, what you want to do though, because it's already been put through, just, just go on. I was like, yeah, whatever I need to do is fine. Um, he's like, go on to one stop, whatever, and just get a, um, a building permit that is, and I apologize. I don't, I'm trying to remember what, it, um, uh, something about like, you just need a little bit of work or something. I forget what it, they called it. Okay. So I said, okay. So I couldn't get on there. I called them. I, um, the inspectors they couldn't help me i called the one stop they couldn't help me finally we realized i'm like it wouldn't let me pass a screen and we didn't know why and they're like oh well that's because um i didn't realize it's a duplex they're like that's it and i was like yeah it's a duplex i was like the because the front entrance is around the front and then the the back uh, um the bottom apartment the entrance is around the back so they just didn't realize it was a duplex so now i can't get that specific uh building permit here so i was so i was he's like all right we'll go get an occupancy now we're gonna have to get it. so i said okay so then the um uh what's her the um emma workman i think what's her name the, again really nice that she's the occupancy inspector permit inspector okay the, the inspectors are fantastic coleman i think was the one and i'm um, in the other and they're like we've already sent the paperwork there's nothing we can do to stop it so like really have to go to court no matter what so i said okay but what do i do so i had to go and get an occupancy I said, okay, well, here they couldn't, um, they couldn't give me an occupancy, and they're like, did you have one for? And I said, I don't know. So they were looking. I said, I don't know. I all I know is I bought this house this way. It's always been rented. It's always had two any everything, and then, um, then the occupancy board came back or whatever permit office said, I can't give you an occupancy permit yet until because it's zoned something out, and they said now you have to go to the zoning board. I was like okay and i'm like okay maybe it's just like i want to get whatever i said i don't care i just want to be in compliance i don't i don't i don't care i'll pay whatever the money is for the permits that i need to get that's fine with me but then i go to the building permit office and that's when i spoke to i don't know and i think whoever i spoke with i believe is when it got me in a hold of thomas if i'm correct and they said well it's because it's not zoned correctly or something that um 
That's why I can't get a zoning permit and I can't get an occupancy permit before I get the zoning permit. And then I can't get my building permit until I get the occupancy. So I have to go in these steps. And this has now been going on because they kind of put me on hold. And I'm like, like, this is like, you know, my livelihood. I need to get income coming in. The um, downstairs is even rented. It's not done um because like i said it got like flooded from the pipes and everything in um uh in in january the end of january so i'm trying to take these steps to do it you know to be compliant and uh and they took months because um every i was getting put into wrong departments people i guess didn't understand it so and i didn't either i don't do this stuff so now i understand so it's like i have to talk to you guys i guess they said first and then maybe get an authorization of something from you guys. And then I get to go to the the zoning board and then have the zoning board to zone it correctly because I guess the house next to me also doesn't have the right zoning, but the other one did. I don't know. So that's kind of like in a nutshell where I'm at here. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> but that sounds like quite a uh, quite a path. And unfortunately, it, with the, the city it's been permitting... Hell. Yeah, you, you hear you hear stories like that all the time. Um, so do you have anything that you wanted to show us as far as uh, photographs or are you, I guess if you're away, uh, you probably you probably don't have that stuff I, yet. But, I actually, yeah. I mean, I, I apologize. I didn't realize that I had, I did take photographs. I have them on my phone. I don't know if I can email them to you guys if that's okay. Um, they had me take, I, I didn't realize I needed it for you. So I apologize. I had a, um, they told me to take it for like the occupancy board or whatever. They said, take pictures of both the kitchens, take pictures of both the furnaces, take pictures of both of the um, electric uh, boxes and uh, also the, um, the um, I'm sorry, the um, gas meters. So I, I do have that if that, you know, and, and again, I am away. I have no problem if you guys, I uh, don't mind. I can uh, maybe even if you one of you want to, I can text me your cell. I can even forward those over what I have right now, and then I could get you more. I get home late tonight. I can why, forward why, something. Yeah, what, there's there, there's no huge rush. Why don't you wait till you get back to back to Pittsburgh, settled in, and maybe you have my email from our coordination with Thomas. Sure. Uh, why don't you yep. send them over? I'll make sure that the board is able to take a look at them. Um, okay. Is that all you need? Are those same pictures that they asked me from the occupancy permit? Department. I think that, yeah, I think that's what would be relevant okay. to us as well. Um, another thing that you, if sure. you still have it, again, not everyone saves these things, but if you have kind of the listing from back in 06 when you originally purchased it or the contract document, yeah. some of that so, stuff would um, be helpful. I do believe I found it online, pulling it back up. Um, and I and it, and I did see, I don't remember where I saw, but it does show it to you. I know on the Allegheny website, I found it just somewhere recently. Um, I don't know if it was... Um, uh thomas i was speaking to about it saying it's still there and i actually while i was here i called the um the deed office down downtown and they told me that because i didn't know maybe if it showed it on the deed and they said they don't show zoning on the um the deeds and he he even he was very helpful i told him the situation and he looked at it for me he said um you know normally you'd have to come down here and, and get it but it's it he said i, I he gave me the or i gave him the address and he said, it, it doesn't show that it is a um, two unit or not. He said, we just, um, you know, and I said, well, who's, and I even called the closing company who I believe was our, cause I, um, the closing company and they're looking into, it. I said, whose responsibility would that have been at that time? Like we were sold this as a multi-unit, you know, it was, um, you know, always a two unit since we bought it. And, and I said, and it shows on the Allegheny website, they said, well, we could, you know, they could tell us anything. I guess the Allegheny website doesn't have to be legit from what I understand. They're going to yeah, put whatever. Yeah, I did notice. So I didn't really understand that. Yeah, I did notice that it shows as a two family on the county website, but you're right. The city doesn't recognize that as sort of the be all and end all. And I, and I did a, a search for certificates of occupancy in the city on the city website. And, you know, there's no, there's, there's nothing for your address that I that I was able to locate unless it's misfiled somewhere. So I, I can understand that. But I do think the more that you can show that it's been consistently used like that is going to be helpful for you in front of the Zoning Board of Adjustment, including, like I said, sure. at the time you purchased it, if it was being mar marketed as a duplex, if any of the closing documents okay. you know, have, a, have any kind of reference to the occupancy, 
Um, you know, it's, it might okay. not be, a, you know, might not be kind of a slam dunk, but all that stuff, I think, will help you if you're trying to convince the zoning board of adjustment that, you know, you, you have always been operating as a two family, and it has been for who knows how long. Yeah. Yeah, and on, and I, I don't know. I'll try to find whatever I can. I really don't have any communication with my ex husband or anything. So, um, just trying to do this as much as I can on my own. Just like asking people like to help guide me to where to go. I do want to be legit with this. I just, I have no idea. Um, you know, I'm just going by what people are telling me. So I will get that. Um, I'll, I think I, I don't know why I think I saw the listing. I'll double check that. I'll see if I can refine the listing from back when we bought it in 2006. And then, um, I, I, the only other thing I can think of is I'm hopeful that, um, that, that closing company, We'll have something, but I, I know I don't have paper. I don't have paperwork on it. I know the deed office said I can come down and, and, and purchase those, but I don't know how helpful that would be at this point after talking to him. So, um, but yeah, I can thing, try to find. Mm -hmm. The only thing, other thing I could think of, Sadie, is if you, you might want to bring some of your lease documents down to show that you've been continuously rented it, uh, renting it. Oh, to sure. Two, the two different, uh, you know, families or people or whatever, just to show that's been the history. Um, that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely do that as well. Um, uh, Jeff and um, what's the downstairs? And it well, okay, yeah, I can get that together. And Angela uh, Seco is still upstairs now, and that was one of the biggest things was um because the guy had moved out from the downstairs um the la this past summer, and then um I had my um cousin had moved in there in the downstairs for a few months and then that, the like i said the pipes had burst so the upstairs that's why we had to get it fixed so fast because they had babies up there do you know what i mean and we we're like we have to get them water so um and that's why they were like oh yeah no go ahead and, and do that so um i have the pictures that i was told to get i'll i'll try to find any kind of paperwork i can i was going to say i know the allegheny website still shows it as that i don't know if that's helpful at all but I, I would include i would print that out and take that with you for sure do you have okay uh, multiple, how's the parking do you, do you have any off-street parking there for multiple tenants um, or is it all on street oh so yes yeah, sir um so we have like in the back it's like a off-street parking lot now the the upstairs people don't really use that because they're um you know because there's like no steps to get you have to walk all the way down around the street and back up so they usually just park right out front the upstairs there's kind of like if you know um south side where the steps come down from 18th street right there there's like a little just like area that is kind of like um a dirt little area so they usually park there Got it. but but they can't park in the back yes cool well I, I don't really have any other questions but certainly since we have some folks who came out um i want to open it up uh to sure. see if anyone else has any questions or comments they want to raise at this time so um, if you do, uh, please unmute yourself and uh, go ahead. You can pose a question to myself, Sadie, or Thomas. I'm sure we'd be happy to answer a question if you have one uh, directed to the city. Uh, Sadie, hi. Um, yes, hi. Um, hi, Andrew. Did, well, hello. Uh, did you, prior to, after you purchased this, did you make yeah. improvements to the home? Did you... Uh, yes yeah okay. there's um yeah like updates and stuff at, yes on um, the upstairs and yes they did the okay. like um like it always had a kitchen stuff but like put better countertops and better you know like that, that kind of stuff well, I meant, I, and then i guess when i say improvements i'm i'm talking more oh. like up-to-date code a lot of these old homes they don't have up-to-date code um yeah right. yeah so um i had a um electrician um, a certified electrician and certified, um, um, HVAC do the upstairs unit. So everything that was all certified. Um, the, um, the, the place when we bought it was all electric. There was no, uh, furnace, even though it had, so I guess at one point they had two meters It had like duct work and stuff. So they did all that. So yeah, all that's been done. And now the electric heaters is out and there's two furnaces. There's two of everything. There was always the two. Um, the, the, the reason I ask. Electric. Is, it, mm -hmm. the, the reason I ask is most likely uh, the city will do a, a reinspection of the home. Oh, that's uh, fine. And and 
that's why I bring it up to you. Uh, yeah, everything's you know, to code there. Blindsided, you know, uh, if, if we say, yeah, fine, you know, let, let Sadie, you know, yeah, have her income. Yeah, I'm already dealing design. with inspectors, so I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's still going to be an inspector that comes in, inspects the home yeah. prior to your uh, updated occupancy. Okay. So I just don't want okay. to be blindsided yeah. by that. That's all. Yeah, I think I've already kind of been blindsided. So appreciate that. Uh, I just, that's why I said I want to be in compliance in any way I can. Sure. I, I really do. Um, I think like this did open a whole um, can of worms as it is. Like I, I don't know because um, the inspector was saying, you know, I wish I would have known this was a, um, uh, a duplex, whatever. And I'm like, it, it is what it is. Like, I don't know. I thought from what we understood. And again, I don't know what my ex-husband, um, you know, has done, doesn't, has done there, hasn't done there. Like what his did. I know whenever I, when we got divorced, like I made sure um the that the the kitchen everything was updated the bathroom all the electric because i think there used to be an oven tube in there so i had um spinda electric in there and make sure like i just want to make sure everything's safe and and everything i even looked into um and i talked to um and i don't know that it was needed or not but uh, um a escape because they're high those buildings are high you know like a fire escape but um the people never got back to me like forever i know he's like oh it's gonna be tw like twenty thousand i'm like yeah, that sucks, but okay. And I could think maybe they thought, oh, well, she's not going to do so. They just were like never getting back to me. So I don't know if I need to put that in or not, but egresses, I, I, I just, um, I don't know if that's an, an issue. Yeah, I don't, I don't think but it's don't like necessary from home. what I understand. But I mean, my point is, is I want, yes, I definitely want to, whatever they need me to do. I just, I'm just like, I put all this like money into now. Like, I just don't want them to like take that away from me. I need that rent, that income, you know, and also, um, the, um, I, you know, if I do go to sell it, you know, I want to be able to sell it now as a multi-unit after I put all that new stuff in, new ductwork, new, you know, the whole deal. So I yeah, just, yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, I understand. Don't be confused. It's all good. Um, just, I appreciate I it. I just want you to know, and you don't have to add anything more or less that when, once this process is over, there's going to be an inspection for that OC permit for that updated okay. OC. And if if it's all good, okay. then you're good to go, okay? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, that's, that's all I wanted you to know. Oh, sorry, okay. Great. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Fitzko. Uh, does anyone else want to uh, ask a question or provide a comment while we have the, uh, the floor open? I see a lot of muted folks but no one uh, stepping forward to make a comment so um with yeah. that i know sadie you i know you have to hit the road to hit, head to the airport shortly um thomas uh i i, I think we will follow up with you i'm going to see what sadie's able to send over um as far as photographs and backup documentation just so we can take a look as a board and then um we will either you know, provide a, uh, you know, provide a comment or a position or, or, or we won't. Um, if we don't, that doesn't mean we oppose it. Um, it just means that, you know, we weren't able to get, you know, a consensus as to taking a position one way or the other. But um, can, can I ask, because I, I do apologize, like this is where I was still like a little confused. What is, what am I doing at, at this point right now with you guys? Do you, right now, is this, um, all of you guys have to be, um, no. So Rick, go ahead. Yeah, here it is. That so because there's a potential that you would look. So we're playing out the possibility that the zoning board does not agree that this was a pre-existing duplex, and even if it was, it was not done legally. In which case, mm -hmm. they would say, "Okay, you need because duplexes are not permitted in the zoning district. You need to get a variance." In situations where there's a use variance, the applicant needs to go to the local neighborhood organization to say. Hey everybody, I may need to use I, I need to use variance. I may need to use variance. Is this something that the neighborhood group would support, not support, or stay neutral on? And so what you're present you're presenting to us today, 
we're going to review what you presented. We actually have a board meeting um, at 630 tonight. So right after this, I will provide an okay. update. And a matter of fact, I think I see about five or six board members on here. So they're hearing it directly from you. So um, oh, we'll, we'll probably talk about it tonight. We'll take a look at what you're able to send over. And you know, that's what I thought. OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if there's support, um, you know, we'll communicate that to the city and to you. Um, if there's not, if, if people, if majority of the board decides, hey, we think this is a really bad idea um, or we don't think we don't support it, then we'll communicate that to you in the city as well. Or sometimes the, the board just stays neutral um, and just says, look, you know, it's, it's between you and the city, you know, figure it out. So I think okay. historically, if the board does come out against applications, the city has taken that into account. Or if they're for an application, the city, it's just another sort of factor, but it's not necessarily legally dispositive one way or the other. It's still basically up to you to convince the zoning board of adjustment, who's the final decision maker. Okay. Hey, this is this is why I'm entitled to do what I want to do. And yeah, they, one of the first things they'll ask you is, well, did you talk to the local neighborhood organization? And now you can say, yes, I did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's why I appreciate uh, Thomas right. and the uh, the gentleman. I think his name was Joe. That, um, and then I have one more question. If if uh, I don't know if anybody would mind, um, I could give you my number and text since you are having. I know you said because I don't get in. I have to fly uh, uh, f from Norfolk through wherever Charlotte, so I don't get until like midnight. Since you're having that meeting tonight, if somebody would not mind to send me their um, cell phone, I won't protections or call I promise I would be happy to send over the pictures from my phone to you um to, yeah to be honest I can it's try probably, to get them in the e in email but go ahead it, it's probably easier for us just to circulate it by email anyway it's kind of we don't want to be like passing around phones and like having multiple text chains okay. it's I, I mean I, I think if what you're telling That's us right. is there's two there's you're going to show pictures of two separate sets of utilities what two they separate asked kitchens, me to, two correct. separate living areas and so like we all know we've yeah. all been in duplexes. We 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 know okay. what you're gonna be sending over, you know. So send okay. it over at your convenience. Don't 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 stress okay. yourself out about it. Uh tomorrow okay. is totally fine. And, I was, I was I, I'll try to get it. Go ahead. I was gonna jump in really quick. It's it's kind of yeah, that's like it's it's up to you, Sadie. If you it generally like, you know, it, it strengthens your case if you're able to show photos at this damn meeting. But again, it's like it's 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 up to you kind of and and as you know, I think yeah. Gavin, you know, is, is on the board there of Southside uh, Slopes, so he can speak to kind of what the board needs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll try to email them from my phone. I just, it, normally, I, it's just, I've been have it. I didn't bring my uh, laptop, and I it sometimes, for some reason, when I try to email from my phone, it doesn't always uh, put all them through. But that's what I'll do. I'll try to email the uh, group email that we have, um, and I'll do that when we hang up. I'll try to do that when I hang up before I head to the airport. I hopefully have something for you. Get as much as I can off my phone over to you guys for your meeting tonight anyway. Sounds great. Does that sound Thanks. okay? Yep, that sounds and, fantastic. And we appreciate your time and your willingness. To I appreciate you, you guys. And for sure. And all of you at work uh, taking your time here. And Andrew, thank you for the um, the um, the info. I'm I am gonna, you know, to be prepared for the inspector. I appreciate you um, let me know all that stuff. So I thank you guys, and I hope that you guys are all with me on this. I don't know if it does help too. I did find out from the deed um, people that the that also the place next door to me, the only again we're the only two houses right there. They also are duplex. And same thing, like family, and then the one that was to the right of me that burnt down. So all of them were duplexes. Does that help at all? I, I would raise that because one of the things that the board sometimes looks at is how is it going to impact the neighbors? And if you okay. can show that, you know, you're sort of, you three were on an island, all three were duplexes, obviously one of them burned down, so it's not there anymore. But you're, it's yeah. not like you're going to cause parking problems that didn't already exist or, you know, create increased traffic right. in areas where it didn't exist. So yeah, I would definitely raise that before the board when you're making your argument. Oh, fantastic. All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your time. No problem. Uh, Thank you, you have my info. If anybody has any other questions, you know, feel free to give me a call. We will. Safe travels. All right. Take Thank you. you. Thank you. Take care, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thomas. Appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody. Um, and Gavin, if you don't mind, just um, if there's a way to, to post this recording for folks who couldn't attend, um, that would be great. And um, we can connect afterwards as well. Yeah, I'll make sure I pass that information off to someone much more technologically savvy than me who will be able to arrange for that. So no problem. Sounds great. Appreciate it. Take care. All right. Thanks. Have a great evening, you guys. Thank you. All right. You too.
拜拜。